the Panthers may soon cross the state line. Governor Henry McMaster announced today two spots in South Carolina are being heavily considered as the new home of Panthers operations. Our Georgia Lee Godfrey was there when the team's owner arrived at the governor's mansion. Owner of the Carolina Panthers, David Tepper, arrived at the governor's mansion just after 8.30 Wednesday morning. The topic of discussion, the future of the NFL team here in South Carolina. This is the kind of thing that we've done before in South Carolina with great success, bringing exciting new uh, ventures, whether it's manufacturing or other things to South Carolina. And this is an opportunity that we're working on now with the Carolina Panthers with Mr. Dave Tepper. Tepper and Governor McMaster are proposing relocating 150 Carolina Panthers employees from Charlotte to a spot in the Palmetto State. The employees would be the football players and all the staff would be employees of the state of South Carolina. Uh, the whole the Panthers would be headquartered in South Carolina. So this is a big win. But before this transition can take place, legislation has to be passed that defines what a professional sports team is in South Carolina. The Panthers aren't asking for something. They're, they're givers, they're not takers. But they need to be treated just like any other business, an insurance business, a manufacturing business that comes to South Carolina. Defining those terms that we already have in statute that allow job tax credits, uh, what goes with that type of legislation. So this really defines a professional sports team and the privileges uh, that go with that. Bills have been filed in both the House and the Senate to lay the groundwork for this move to happen. Right now, Panthers owner David Tepper is eyeing York and Lancaster counties as the future home for the Panthers team. In Columbia, George Ray Godfrey, 7 News. York and Lancaster counties are both less than 50 miles away from Charlotte, where the Panthers play their home game. And Governor McMaster adds the relocation would also come with an investment of $150 million over four years to build a state-of-the-art medical facility.